very special people and together they make amazing art. Aaron is profoundly deaf and Catherine is confined to a wheelchair. Despite their severe handicaps, these two courageous people have formed a strong bond while taking art therapy classes over the years. Aaron is unable to hear a pin drop, but this doesn't stop him. Here we see him with an ingenious invention that helps him to draw beautiful pictures. Sadly, when Aaron was only 14 years of age, he was afflicted with a terrible condition called sensorineural deafness, which cruelly took away all of his hearing and made him permanently deaf. Despite this tragic loss, Aaron has been attending the art therapy classes and this has helped Aaron to build his confidence under such tragic circumstances. Come get off the board. <laughs> Here we see them in their life drawing classes and despite Catherine having no movement, she still perseveres and is making a lot of progress. When Catherine was first born, everyone thought she was normal until she showed no signs of crawling. After a few months, she was diagnosed with a fatal crippling disease called spinal muscular atrophy. As the years have progressed, Catherine's condition has deteriorated. However, she finds her strength in the art therapy classes she attends each week. Erin and Catherine first started making great art together in their early 20s and to this day they continue to make amazing art. They are very excited because they get to run a charity stall at the Brick Lane Art Car Boot Fair and at Watch This Space at the National Theatre. This is an incredible achievement and they are so happy and are actively participating in everything they do. This has inspired them to come up with some exciting new additions to their work. Catherine and Aaron are aware of the health risks with smoking, but decided that a limited edition set of ashtrays would be a popular addition to the stall, since lots of artists still smoke fags. Besides, they were comparatively easy to make. The jam was the trickiest thing to make for the stall, but in the end they decided just to use ready-made jam from Tesco. Catherine had heard that ready-made is a very arty concept associated with Marcel Duchamp, so it all fitted perfectly as there would be a lot of arty people coming to the fair. Nowadays, modern artists don't always manufacture their own art, even if they do have the idea for it. Erin and Catherine want to keep up to date, and when they attended the embroidery class, they realised that they didn't have the skills or patience to do much in that area. However, they managed to raise a little money through charity to pay some assistance to realise their embroidery concepts. For example, stitching the initials DAG onto handkerchiefs. Lucy is Catherine's special companion and Catherine and her little canine friend are inseparable. Lucy plays a prominent role on the stall and Catherine and Aaron soon realise that she attracts the crowds and by allowing the public to pet her, this will encourage people to give generously. Over the years, it has been very challenging for them as they have faced many difficulties due to their severe disabilities. Making art has not been easy, yet this doesn't stop them and they don't focus on what they can't do, but rather focus on what they can do. With a large pencil strapped to the wheelchair, they can create the most wonderfully delicate drawings that are a joy to look at. And in addition, by strapping on a large pencil to a specially designed headpiece, Erin is now able to draw incredibly intricate drawings. The art therapy classes give them a deep pride and satisfaction in what they have worked on 
and there are no limits. Catherine says that she is jolly and gay and from this documentary we can see that she is making the most of her life. Aaron says he loves art and he also likes writing short saucy stories which gives him a little bit of cash towards his art therapy classes. People like Aaron and Catherine are an inspiration to us all and this short portrayal of their lives demonstrates how, despite their tragic circumstances, they manage to make amazing art.